Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, <laughs> it's time to start the next part of a playthrough here. I believe now's a good time to start the Automatron quest line. We should be able to get Automatron done pretty much in uh, one part. If not one part, definitely two. But um, this might just be the whole video for Automatron. So, let's go ahead. We're going to jump into it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pick up Ada for this quest. So, I'm going to travel to Sanctuary real quick. And we're going to pick her up for this quest just because, you know, it's Automatron. You have to have Ada with you. There she is. Would you like me to go with you? Yes, ma'am. Time to hit the road. Wonderful. I look forward to traveling with you. Um, no, we're not doing all that. Oh, Jesus. Okay, come on, let's go this way. We're going to ignore all that garbage. Um, yeah, I've seen that beeping dude over there. I'm out. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. Ada, shut up. No, we don't. We're going into here. Oh my, ma'am. I'm going. I'm going in the building here. I don't. I don't care about all that noise. Find anything useful? Sure did. Need you to get out of my way though. You not? America, man. Okay. Holy moly. Boys and girls, what is going on in here? God. I cannot hit anything. This is absolutely sad. Okay, whatever. Oh my lord. Right, no, 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 no. I am not peeking. I already know that thing is like an insta kill. Oh my god, you're not dead yet? There we go. That's not the greatest. Sure. Oh, wow. I'm, uh, <laughs> we're having fun. What the hell was that for? Jesus. All right, I'm, I'm on empty. So, oh my God, man, this, this is chaos. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God, I'm gonna die. Oh no, it's gonna go boom. It's gonna go boom. I'm not going near there. Right, maybe it's not gonna go boom. I'm gonna quick save just in case. Please don't go boom. How is this? Wow, man. That was uh that was way more chaos than I liked. I guess we're gonna talk to Ada. Hey, I'd be happy to help if I can. Ada? Did you retrieve something from that robot? Yeah. It had this interesting tech. Intriguing. Let's examine it. Impressive technology. If my analysis is correct, this is a specialized radar beacon. I suspect it's how the mechanist was keeping track of the robo-brain you destroyed. As the next logical step, I need you to install this beacon within me so we can use it to our advantage. <laughs> Sounds like a solid plan. I'm glad you agree. You'll need to use a robot workbench to ensure proper installation, and my presence will be required. To maintain peak efficiency, I strongly recommend that we remain together until the radar beacon is successfully installed. Hey. What can I do for you? Are you ready to install the radar beacon? Time to operate. Just be certain you don't disconnect anything essential while you're rummaging through my circuitry. Once <laughs> I'm in the robot workbench, just install the radar beacon and I'll do the rest. Hey. How may I be of service? Ada? A moment. The modification was successful. New hardware has been detected and software is updating. And installation complete. Analyzing mechanist hardware. The radar beacon is receiving a strong encrypted signal, but I can't determine the source. It's a good start at least. Absolutely. 
With some additional assistance, I should be able to decrypt the signal and locate the mechanist. Fortunately, I'm detecting another robo-brain in the Commonwealth that's receiving the same signal. Finally, we have an advantage. Perhaps, but it isn't quite that simple. The encryption on the source signal is complex, but not beyond solving. If you can bring me two additional beacons, they should provide the keys and algorithms that I need to enhance my decryption routines. Okay. Looks like it's Robobrain season. At least until our mission is complete. I'm uploading the location of the Robobrain to your Pip Boy now. Just be careful. These robots tend to travel in groups, so you're likely to encounter heavy resistance. Yeah, I figured. But, you know, let's go ahead and find this shit. <laughs> what the hell's going on here, man? Jesus Christ. They all just. <laughs> they all uh drop dead. An intervention note. Food paste. Oh god. I'll take it. <laughs> Pipe pistol. A whole bunch of junk. Let's let's check out that intervention note real quick. That was a little uh I got I spawned in and three friggin' guys just died all at once, so we gotta see what's going on here. I got so much shit in my damn inventory. Hank, you've been eating a lot of that food paste that we got from that Suffolk school. It's affecting you, like, in a real bad way, man. You've been flying. What? Oh, flying off the handle at every little thing. Always have this crazy look in your eyes. Heck, during that last farm raid, you even shot up a couple of runners. We don't kill them when they're fleeing, man. We're better than that. <laughs> I know the stuff tastes great, but is it really worth all this? I mean, I had to write this down because I'm scared you would shoot me in the face if I said anything in person. We're your friends. We just don't want to see you go down the wrong path. Just drop the pace, man. I remember that, uh, that, that discovery. There's something up with the pink paste. I forgot what it was, but we're gonna, we'll have to do that very soon. Alright, where, where am I going? We're on a quick save because, uh, oh, there it is. Holy shit. They have, like, an assaultron. What is that dude doing? It's, like, kind of skirt skirting there. There we go. Son of a bitch! Shit, I got. Holy oh, meat, hey, you almost good, Ada. Thank you. Frick. No, 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 no. Uh, Are gonna my best. Okay. Confusion core and a Sotron torso. It's pretty decent stuff. I uh, got a church over here. What's, what's over in the church, man? God, her footsteps are really gonna be annoying. Alright. <clears throat> Didn't expect help from a stranger. Thanks. Glad to help. You are one of the good ones. Hey, you wouldn't happen to know of any good places to settle around here, would you? I'm tired of always being on the run. I sure do. To sanctuary you go, random person. Thanks. See you there in a day or two. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway. How does this speak to Ada? What is this talking simulator? Heads up. Yes. Here you go, Ada. One slightly dented, but still functional radar beacon. This will do nicely. And, with any luck, it'll help us trace the mechanist's signal. Don't worry. I'm sure it'll do the trick. I certainly hope so. I'm going to begin my decryption routine, but it could take a while. In the meantime, I've picked up another Robobrain beacon signal. It should be the last one you'll need to collect. Let me guess. This is going to involve a lot of walking. Your astuteness is impressive. If my calculations are correct, the signal is coming from... Oh, this isn't good. Location confirmed. The Robobrain is at Fort Hagen Satellite Array, which means it's in the hands of the Rust Devils. Doesn't sound like anything a little lemon juice and some steel wool can fix. It's going to take something a bit 
stronger to overcome these foes. My old caravan encountered them once while crossing the river into the city. The Rust Devils are a group of ruthless raiders who utilize robots for their nefarious practices. They scour the Commonwealth looking for my kind. What they can't capture and reprogram, they strip for spare parts. I realize they pose a greater threat to me than you. I just want you to be well informed. That being said, despite what lies ahead, I can easily continue to decrypt the signal as we proceed. So shall we be on our way? We're going to be taking care of these, uh, these little rust devils. They don't stand a chance. Okay, cool. Suffered damage. Whatever. We're headed west. I heard something. I'm hearing stuff. It's coming from over there. Legendary, holy shit. Can you die, motherfucker? Thank you. Hey. Hey, I got oh, I ain't got no ammo for that. I wish I had a better uh get out of my face. Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Holy moly. Okay. A little scarier than I, than I thought. Okay. Where you at? Where you at? This damn turret down there. Kill me, boys. This is almost the end of the road for me. I don't know what's going on up in here. Alright. Things are about to get dangerous. How heavy am I? Only about half full. It's good. Some lasers. Oh, that was gonna kill me. Ate up, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Careful, ma'am. I don't think we're alone. No shit. You're going to regret this. Your destruction is nice try. Not much of a threat after all. All right, what you got? What you got? You legendary? What you got? My God, man. Oh my god. Oh my. I, uh. I, uh. I almost died. <laughs> there, there we go. Uh, he dropped something, uh, pretty, uh, pretty decent, though, I will say. A chess piece that automatically uses a stim pack. That's, uh, that's not. What is that? Is that XO1 power armor? Well, I'll be hot dog. There it is. I'm going to totally get me some of that. I'm going to totally take that from my... Come on, you son of a bitch. Thank you. Got it. I'm totally going to take that from myself. Let me quick save. That's what I'm talking about, boys and girls. We got some XO1 power armor up in here. Doing pretty damn good. I'm gonna pick that up there. All right, where to now? Oh hell no! You don't look like one of the Rust Devils. What are you doing here? Maybe I'm just a Rust Devil wearing a clever disguise. Please. Don't insult my intelligence. Oh my god, I hate this Why bitch. don't you just tell me why you're here? And why we're even bothering to have this conversation? Hunting down a radar beacon. A radar beacon? How very interesting. That's a very specific part to be searching for. And you don't look like the typical part scavenger type to me. I calculate a 98.8% chance that you're looking for the mechanist. If I'm correct, and I usually am, then perhaps we can help each other with our respective predicaments. I'm listening. How refreshing. Then allow me to explain. Now, 
How can I put this as simple as possible so someone at your processing speed can understand? Ooh. In order to find the mechanist, you're going to need more than just my radar beacon. You're going to need access to the facility. I'm willing to provide said access, but you'll have to fulfill two simple conditions. One, you need to get me as far away as you can from these lunatics. And two, find me a new body. Once both conditions are satisfied, I'll gladly provide you with everything you need. Do we have a deal? Good talk. How do I know you'll keep up your end of the bargain? Even though there's a human brain floating in a biogel inside my head, I'm still bound by my original programming. It pains me to admit it, but one of my directives states that I cannot lie. Ever. So, while I'm not the most charming robot you've ever encountered, the last thing I'm going to do is violate an agreement we made. Now that we have that out of the way, do we have a deal? Deal. A wise decision. Once we're at our destination, okay. I'll happily relinquish my radar beacon as a gesture of good faith. Now, I strongly suggest you stop loitering in the middle of a hostile location and get us both out of here at once. Okay. You're gonna die, you son of a bitch! Back up! You well, come on! Let's not wait around for more horrifying Ooh. monstrosities! Shut up, you damn robot. Shit, you're annoying. Alright, there's me, the mechanist! Okay. No. 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 Okay, where are they at though? When you turn up, you're dead. <laughs> when you turn up, you're dead. Turn him into goop and I took his head off. This is the one that ripped my head off. I demand we rip her head off. It's only fair. Green. What the? Light him up! Let's take him out! Holy shit! Prepare oh, shit. Oh, shit, die! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Okay, I'm alive. Move, damn it! Hey there, move your fat head. I'll give you that one. He's got the T60 I want. Had I a body, yes. I would have killed her myself. Oh well. Six of one, half dozen of the other. Good job, human. Cool. I got my legendary Tesla armor for my my shit. Anyway, um, that's all I really cared about right there. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, special weapons one of the few chests that actually you really want to loot <laughs> it's... thank goodness we are out of that hole don't think your job is done i refuse to cooperate until you provide a body that meets my standards Time to add more power armor to my collection here. Yeah. Heads up. Yes, ma'am. Here you go, Ada. The final radar beacon. I'll need that head back when you're done. Of course. Shouldn't take but a moment. There you go. Still in one piece. I'm not sure why you want the head back. All we needed was its radar beacon. Besides, robo brains are notorious for being. Well, a real pain in the neck. Now that you have the final radar beacon, will it be enough to track down the mechanist's location? I certainly hope so. I've already started the calculations while we've been having this conversation. 
That still doesn't explain why you need that head back. We still need it, Ada. I believe it can help us access the Mechanist's facility. Of course. It makes perfect sense that the Mechanist would not only keep its location a closely guarded secret, but would secure it against intrusion as well. I'm terribly sorry. I hadn't considered that possibility at all. I'm afraid when it comes to assisting humans, I'm not doing very well lately. Don't be ridiculous. If it wasn't for you, we couldn't have gotten this far already. That's kind of you to say. Ever since I let my friends die in that caravan, I feel like I've been failing in my duties. I chose the route we took the day we were attacked. Perhaps if I had selected an alternate route, they'd still be alive. Sometimes I wish that Jackson had programmed me with my personality mode set permanently to disabled. You shouldn't think that way. Your personality helps you think creatively. I always considered my personality to be a burden, but I suppose I've been looking at it incorrectly. I really think I needed to hear that from someone else. Thank you. Now I've distracted you for long enough. I'll finish up my calculations while you deal with our new friend, Jezebel. Hopefully, she'll be able to grant us access to the Mechanist's facility and we can put an end to this nonsense once and for all. Interesting. This body you've selected for me isn't quite what I had envisioned, but it will have to suffice. I sure will. You're a protectron now. Well, I was going to connect your head to Liberty Prime's body, but I decided to do a little arts and crafts instead. <laughs> Disappointed? If you're attempting to use sarcasm as an intimidation tactic, I'm afraid you're wasting your time. Look, it's obvious we don't care for each other's company, which suits me just fine. So, why don't you ask me everything you wanted to know, and then I'll be on my way. Tell me everything you know about the Mechanist. Now there's a fascinating subject. The Mechanist, amazingly adept at programming, a veritable genius with electronics. I'm not surprised you're interested. I've been dutifully carrying out the Mechanist's instructions to help the people of the Commonwealth for quite a long time. I knew there was some good left inside that brain. What you call good? I call my primary directive. The Mechanist instructed me to seek out and help the people of the Commonwealth by my calculations the easiest way to help a human is simply to destroy it. There's no point in prolonging a laughably fragile Jesus life. Christ. It's the most efficient way to assist them. Any other effort to help tends to result in numerous complex side effects. You don't help people by killing them. That's insane. On the contrary, assisting a human to the best of my abilities only affords a 25% survival rate. That means there's a 75% chance that despite my efforts, the human I'm assisting will die from something beyond my control. Therefore, it's better to hasten the human's death and put them out of their likely chance of misery than to deplete my limited time. It's actually quite elementary, but given your minimal intellect, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised you don't understand. And you're going to be a brain pate if you don't tell me how to access the Mechanist facility. There's no need to be rude. It's rather <laughs> simple, really. In order to gain entry to the Mechanist facility, you're going to need to outfit one of your robots with an MSAT modification. I'll upload the plans to your Pip-Boy device. There. I've fulfilled my portion of our agreement. Perhaps I'll remain here for a while and see how things resolve between yourself and the Mechanist. Purely for my own amusement, of course. I suspect you'll have quite a tale to tell once you return. But then again, I'd be surprised if you ever return at all. This bitch. <laughs> I swear, man. All right. Look alive. How may I be of service? Ada. I trust you've completed your business with Jezebel. I hope she wasn't too difficult. That's an understatement. Rudest robot ever. I did warn you. Telling me that's why you're a little stick from by your right access there. to the mechanist. I'll need to modify a robot to gain access. Jezebel uploaded the plans for an MSAT to my Pip Boy. A custom modification that acts as a key to the mechanist facility. Very smart. In fact, chances are high the MSAT may be required for multiple access points, like a robot identification card. 
As for my task, I was able to decrypt the signal with the final radar beacon. The source is coming from a Robco Sales and Service Center, most likely a front for a larger operation. It's time to take the offensive. Have you formulated a plan? It's time to confront the Mechanist. I hope you're allowed the opportunity. I too am curious as to what the Mechanist would have to say. Now, if you're ready, I believe you have an MSAT to install. All right, boys and girls, we're going to the Mechanist's lair. Where the hell is it? Okay, it's there. My inventory is pretty empty. We're good to go. I forgot how quick this DLC is. It's not that it's like a small DLC. You know, you get to build robots and cool shit like that, but it really is kind of a small DLC. It's no Far Harbor or Nuka World, you know. We're definitely going to be jumping into probably Far Harbor uh, in the next part because I've been really excited for that. I just want to get the Altamatron um, side of things out of the way. But um, we're going to go ahead. We're going to get this done. Uh, I'm definitely going to test out this Tesla rifle. It's like a shotgun. That's an energy shotgun. I'm excited to see how that works. Okay. I already know that I'm going to be dreading this just a tad because... Uh, I'm glad my intakes have a dust filter. I wanted to hear about it. Uh, what was I saying? Um, oh yeah, I'm already dreading what we're going to have to be dealing with because I do remember that the Mechanist Slayer, oh my god, getting into here, it's absolute chaos, boys and girls. Nothing but robots trying to kill us everywhere we go. But we're here for it. I'm ready to see. Scan this. Get to it. What's this? Cool. What the hell's going on over here? Holy shit, big ass door. This is really overkill. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just be a little honest here. I, okay, 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 that, that's enough of that. That's, I think that's a little bit overkill. Incoming robot detected. Opening security doors. All right, all right, all right. Another damn door. I was gonna be surprised if there was another damn door. Okay. Aluminum canister. I'll take it. Oh, the scourge of the Commonwealth has you target down. Safety's You're off. You're dead, homie. No, you don't. Ooh, ooh! Oh my God! I'm about to die. Man, I hate it here. Yeah, Far Harbor is definitely next, boys and girls. Scan this. Stop being a lump on a log, girl. Get that damn door open for me. Jesus. Okay, seriously, these doors are really open for me. Okay, this is too much. What's that? Okay, let's do it, homie. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? Okay, he goes boom, boom, making up. He's just like, what is shooting at me? I can't see when I'm shooting. Down weapons, there we go. God bless America, man. This place is a death trap. Okay. Shit. I love that Ada just comes in and like just like shoves her little Sultron hands up in them and I'm just like, oh my god, please. Right. Um, I'll take the hard hat. Oh my god, the stagger is real. Christ on a tricycle. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. 
What is going on up in here, dude? Bro. Okay. Damn turret. Here it is. Finally, oh my god. Them turrets are deadly. Okay, we're just gonna leave Ada to heal herself. Hey, yo, you, you stop that. Goodness gracious, do not blow up. I think you're good. This place is sketch. I'm gonna take you out. Come on, bitch. Beat the shit out of him. Beat the shit out of him. Boom. I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. Oh, wait, no, I'm definitely. Oh my god. Okay. Man, I'm having a having a lot of fun, let me tell you. The Commonwealth is right to fear people like Son you. Of a bitch. Damn, man. Respect for human rights. Oh, hey, you. Hey, hey you. You I'll stop that life. shit. Little bastard. Take them down. Ooh. 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 No, you do not. No. no, 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 no. Stop that shit. Right there, you son of a bitch. We may have some trouble. Jesus. Some bitch was about to two tap me. Stop that shit. Bitch. I hate these damn robots. These damn game boys. Damn game's bothering me. Oh no! Oh, come on! No! 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 Oh my God! The door! Uh, 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 uh. We don't play these games. We not playing these games. We are not playing these games. The holy shit! Holy shit! What are you doing? What is going on, man? Holy moly! Brothers, Mr. Stranger just said, screw your couch. My self-diagnostic looks green. Ready to get back to the cool. action. Lord have mercy. Stand the ground, bitch! Holy shit! You get this one. No, you can get me down. Get me down. No! No, come on! I'm getting, I'm getting way late on this. I'm gonna die in here, man. No, stop that shit. Hell yeah, Ada for the Ada for the crash. Holy shit, he went flying. I really am not having a fun time here. This is not what joy looks like, boys and girls. This is what um, torture feels like. This is literally the embodiment of hell currently. I am not having a fun time. I'm just gonna keep on. What the hell? Son of a bitch. Damn jump scare. Still looking kind of sketch, not gonna lie. Okay, seriously. Yo, what the hell is that? I'm more worried about the damn turret. Just gonna kill me. Die, you bitch! Found the <laughs> I can't hit it. We'll yes, yes, we will. Uh, oh, what? No more for you. Thank you, Ada. Watch out! Oh my! Oh my God! Oh my God! There's another one. Oh, he's about to, he's about to charge. No! Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm gonna die! Oh, it's, it's over, boys. It's over for me. I'm dead. You're about to get the whack! You get the whack! We all get the whack! Whack for everybody! Oh. Hello? Hello? Oh, man.
I was giving them the whack. But they gave me the whack. Shit. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna We're gonna um Damn it. Okay, this this does like dog shit damage. I can't see shit. I can't see anything, boys. I'm dying here. No! Not again! Not again! Not again! Not again! Not again! Not again! No! 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 I can't see. Hello? Okay. I want my last mag of this gun. Jesus. Damn. Homie just died standing straight up. Oh my god. I really hate this so much right now. You have no idea. Okay. Oh my god. Stay down. Stay down, bitch. You too. No, you're gonna get hurt. You're sick of your shit. You're sick of your shit. Whack. Yeah, give him the whack, waiter. Ada. Waiter? What? I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, boys. My brain's been fried. Holy mo. Okay, quick save. Use this. Open open the door, Ada. Open the very big series of doors. <sighs> Give us the end of this. Start opening damn doors, man. Door simulator. Holy shit, here we are. We made it. We made it. Oh, Making us clear. Who the Okay. There seems to be some sort of misunderstanding here. Maybe we should talk about this. The Commonwealth has suffered more than its fair share of injustices because of you. Now you'll face the full might of the mechanist. My righteous robots will end your tyranny once and for all. Oh, you bitch. I'm to my way out of this one. No. You, you stop charging that shit. You stop that shit right now. Who the hell do you think you are, you little, you little robot? You little bitch. Oh, my ass. I don't like this, man. I'm not, I'm not enjoying my time. What is shooting me? Stop! Oh, bitch! Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my god! Like I said we're not enjoying this, boys and girls. We are not having fun here. Look at all the damn robots! Yeah, I gotta get rid of that dude. I gotta get rid of that dude. Stop that shit right now, dude! Wow, he won't boom. They're so expendable. You know, initiate self-destruct. Call 001. Holy shit! We may want to move. Okay. We're done here. What I think you failed to grasp the full reality of your situation. I'm gonna quick save. Look around you. This entire facility is at my command. For every robot you here. destroy, ten more will come. Struggle all you want. There is nothing you can do to stop me. Nothing. Warning. Power generation capacity exceeded. Now drawing reserve power. Sparks. I'll deal with you myself. Come, my robots. Destroy her. No! No, no, no! My ass! 
Stop hitting me with that stupid shit. You like that, bitch? Stay on the ground, bitch. Okay. You're gonna die. Stay on the ground, bitch. Where? Where, where am I getting shot from, man? I think, uh, I think they've run out of, uh, robots. Yo, what is that shit? It's all legend. I'm about to die, yo! Die, you bitch! Okay, that's not... Oh my god! This damn game and this damn bullshit boy, I swear to god. Man! Five. Looking at me, man. It's like, please don't kill me, boss. Three. Two. This is the longest ten second countdown of my life. One. <laughs> Dark. Stop despawning, I'm trying to lose your damn bodies. just want you to hear me out, face to face. Very well. I will hear you out, but only for the sake of the Commonwealth. Sparks, oh, with me. God bless. Finally, I can talk to this bitch. Freaking the amount of damn robots and the amount of da damn times I've almost died. All we wanted to do was have a conversation, you Let dumbass. Who are you? Don't you think it's time you ditched that mask? Yeah, yes, You're right. Right. You're right. I'm... Isabel. Cruz. The Mechanist was just an easy way for me to help the Commonwealth. But all my technical knowledge and all of these resources and... I still failed. How does the Commonwealth have any hope against people like you? Hey, I'm not the enemy. I'm the one trying to protect the Commonwealth against your robots. They have taken innocent lives. My friends, they were simple traitors, all dead at the hands of your robots. That 
can't be right. Explain yourself. They're misinterpreting orders. Your own robo-brain said as much. They're saving people by killing them. Saving by... killing? No. It's... the logic. It's there. I can see it now. I was hoping it was the robo-brains, an issue with their memory wipes. But you're right. <sighs> their primary directive was flawed. Maybe that's why you don't stick human brains in robots. I wanted to help the Commonwealth. And robots are all I know. I found this place and figured I could finally do my part. I accept full responsibility. I can't take back what I've done or even atone for it. But this doesn't have to end in violence. I'm not here to kill you. Only to get you and your robots to stand down. Done. Consider it done. And you won't regret this. I promise. None of the Commonwealth will. Here, take this. It's the password to the mainframe. You can use it to shut down the security protocols. I just... I'd rather this place be in your hands now. That's what I thought, bitch. I'm turning these damn robots off. I'm tired of their bullshit. God bless America. That's <laughs> I love all the little Such robots just typing away. Perfectly good technology. Your return is a relief. I trust the outcome was what you wanted. The Commonwealth is safe. It doesn't have to fear the mechanist any longer. A successful mission then. Did she reveal her motives and reasoning? Yeah, she's right behind you. She truly wanted to help people. She didn't know what the robo-brains were doing. To her, a life saved was a life saved. A biological wild card. The unknowns are vast. She had to know the risk she was taking by creating them. Many good people endured suffering and death because of the mechanist. It's a shame a mind as brilliant as hers allowed such atrocities to be committed. She's right behind you. <laughs> She's good at heart. She made a mistake. A big one. And she'll live with that guilt. I believe I have a certain understanding when it comes to guilt. While it's not the justice I had hoped for, it will suffice. Still, I now know that the death of my friends has brought about a safer commonwealth. Had the mechanist robots remained unchecked, I'm certain that damage would have been extensive. Halting, if not reversing, any progress that has been made here. With this knowledge, I am finally registering feelings of satisfaction and accomplishment. And I have you to thank for it. Cool. Okay. Hey, Isabel. Hey, just one more thing. If you have a minute. Sure, go ahead. Oh, good. I just wanted to say I'm really happy, thankful that you've let me stick around here. And in order to show you that I'm done with the past, I want you to have this as a sort of promise, I guess. It's the mechanist suit I made. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. There's one more thing, a much bigger thing. There are still robots out there, lots of them. My communications are down and I can't call them back, but I can tell you where they are, if you're interested. Actually, I'd like to trade a few things. Oh, okay. Maybe later then, right? Here's what I have. Okay. She's just carrying a bunch of... Oh. Oh, she's a store. <laughs> yeah, wait, what? Okay. I thought that was like, what's her inventory? No, it's, she's a store now. All right, now I think there's actually some good loot in here, but we've uh, we've uncovered the mechanist, boys and girls. Oh, there's a little sentry bot. I'll take that. Drawing of the mechanist. Cool. Okay. There it is. We know that's the iPod schematics. 
not exactly what I'm looking for, but there's something else somewhere. Get out my damn way. Get out my damn way! Alright, what's, wait, what's behind here? Oh yeah, there's some shit back here. There's a fusion core. Stuff. Make sure you don't leave anything useful behind. Now you, you ain't got nothing to worry about, trust me. Okay, nothing else in here. I think we had to go down the hallway. There it is. Spotlight schematics is what I'm looking for. Perfect. A freaking mini nuke? Holy shit. Alright, perfect. We got everything we wanted to out of here. Yeah, so I mean, this isn't going to be like a super short episode or anything. I mean, I've only been recording for like an hour and 42 minutes, but... I mean, we the DLC itself is really not a long one. You can really just kind of streamline the course, or the, the main course of the uh, DLC, and which is what we've done. But, um, I mean, we're done here. <laughs> we've unlocked the Mechanist Lair. It's now a settlement of ours, and, again, we are officially done here. So, this is it. <laughs> we've got this place as our own little settlement. I will do something with it in the near future. Or as of right now, that's pretty much it. But the main thing I wanted was the uh, little spotlights you see up there. I've been wanting to add those to my build. So I'm actually going to go to the castle and do that now. And then uh, actually we're going to start recording Far Harbor after this. So Far Harbor is going to be the next uh, in the next part. I'm pretty excited for that. But um, I guess for the most part, I mean, that's it, boys. We've done the Automatron DLC. It's going to be the end of this episode been having a lot of fun recording this and there's some terrible lighting in here my character looks all kinds of weird got Ada chilling back there with her little shocky hands <laughs> but um yeah that's it for now boys so if you enjoyed the episode you know what to do drop a like subscribe if you want to and I'll see you guys later peace